Scotland is a country that is part of the United Kingdom. It covers the northern third of the island of Great Britain. Scotland has experienced extraordinary growth and change during the course of its lifetime. It's a place that has been invaded and settled many times and that has made a mighty contribution to culture and society. Welcome to our animated history channel. This show presents a brief history of Scotland. The history of Scotland dates back to 12,800 years ago, when it is believed that the first post-glacial groups of hunter-gatherers arrived in the territory of Scotland. At that time, the country was covered in forest, had more bogland, and the main form of transport was by water. Then, about 4,500 BC, farming was introduced into Scotland. The early farmers continued to use stone tools and weapons, and this period is called Neolithic. Neolithic farming brought permanent settlements. The period also saw the first wheelhouses, a roundhouse with a characteristic outer wall, within which was a circle of stone piers. Scotland's recorded history began with the arrival of the Roman Empire. Despite building two impressive fortifications, Hadrian's Wall to defend the northern border, and the Antonine Wall across central Scotland to advance it forward. The Romans never truly conquered Caledonia. Unable to defeat the Caledonians and Picts, the Romans eventually withdrew and over time retreated away from Britain. Around 800 AD, Vikings who were accomplished seamen began migrating from Norway and Denmark, crossing the treacherous North Sea to trade and settle in Scotland. While the Vikings began to settle in the west, the Picts were forging a new kingdom named the Kingdom of Alba. In 1034, Duncan I became the King of Scotland, but his reign was marred by failed military adventures. He was defeated and killed by Macbeth, who became king in 1040. Immortalized forever in Shakespeare's fictitious retelling, Macbeth is perhaps one of the best-known early Scottish kings. Macbeth ruled as King of Alba until his death in the Battle of 1057, and Duncan's son became Maelle Colium III, who did the most to create the Dunkeld dynasty that ruled Scotland for the following two centuries. Particularly important was his second marriage to the Anglo-Hungarian princess Margaret, which prompted William the Conqueror to invade, and he had to submit to his authority, opening up Scotland to later claims of sovereignty by English kings. He was killed in a battle against the English in 1093. In the 12th century, the Kingdom of Alba continued to grow and become a feudal society. During the reigns of Alexander II and then Alexander III, more land was turned over to agriculture, trade with the continent bolstered the economy, and monasteries and abbeys grew and flourished around the country. The death of King Alexander III in 1286 left several rivals for succession. To prevent civil war, the Scottish magnates asked Edward I of England to arbitrate, for which he extracted legal recognition that the realm of Scotland was held as a feudal dependency to the throne of England before choosing John Balliol, who became king in 1292. Edward claimed to be overlord of Scotland, and he soon made it clear that he wanted Balliol to be a puppet. In 1295, Edward tried to force the Scots to join him in a war against France. Balliol rebelled and formed an alliance with France. Edward invaded Scotland, deposing King John. In 1297, William Wallace and Andrew de Moray raised forces to resist the occupation. The English army was defeated at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. Wallace ruled Scotland for a short time until Edward came north in person and defeated him. Wallace escaped, but in 1305 he was captured and executed. Unrest continued into the 14th century when Robert the Bruce took the throne and was crowned king. Fighting continued until 1314 at the Battle of Bannockburn, where Robert the Bruce and his army defeated Edward II, a major turning point in his rule. Scotland's ultimate victory confirmed Scotland as a fully independent and sovereign kingdom. When King David II died without issue, his nephew Robert II established the House of Stuart, which would rule Scotland uncontested for the next three centuries. James VI, Stuart King of Scotland, also inherited the throne of England in 1603, and the Stuart kings and queens ruled both independent kingdoms until the Act of Union in 1707 merged the two kingdoms into a new state, the Kingdom of Great Britain. Ruling until 1714, Queen Anne was the last Stuart monarch. Since 1714, the succession of the British monarchs of the Houses of Hanover and saxe coburg and Gotha, Windsor, has been due to their descent from James VI and the I of the House of Stuart. During the Scottish Enlightenment and Industrial Revolution of the 18th century, Scotland became one of the commercials, intellectual, and industrial powerhouses of Europe. The intellectual movement sought to understand the natural world and the human mind and ranged across philosophy, chemistry, geology, engineering, technology, poetry, medicine, economics, and history. Figures like Thomas Hobbes, David Hume, Adam Smith, Robert Burns, and Sir Walter Scott are still celebrated for their achievements. Industrial advances and wealth accumulated from the trade of tobacco, sugar, and cotton 
bring about the dawn of urban Scotland at the turn of the 19th century. The country shifted from rural to urban, and huge towns, massive factories, and heavy industry took hold. Mining, shipbuilding, and textiles were very important to Scotland's development during this time. In recent decades, Scotland has enjoyed something of a cultural and economic renaissance, fueled in part by a resurgent financial services sector and the proceeds of North Sea oil and gas. Since the 1950s, nationalism has become a strong political topic, with serious debates on Scottish independence and a referendum in 2014 about leaving the British Union. The result was 45% voting yes and 55% voting no. Therefore, Scotland is still a part of the British Union now. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other animated history shows, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.